So with the onset of winter, I figured this would be a great opportunity to test out the grips in cold weather. I've had um, both cameras, the 60 and the D600 out here on my back deck for a while now, uh, I think over an hour. And as you can see on my uh, Casio's, it's 21.4 degrees Fahrenheit out here in the cold. And I also do have a uh, laser thermometer that I could verify the temperature of these, uh, of the grip and as well as the batteries for with. So I've had the 60 out here for a while now. And as to verify the temperature, it is pretty cold out here and the grip itself, so it's not something I just bought in from uh, indoors. I purposely kept out here because I want to see how it reacts to the code. Make sure that the uh, contacts are still working, because as you know, in the code, um, contacts metal contracts, so that's a good sign. It's on. And I do apologize for the focusing issues because it seems like the RX100 lens has uh, frozen over and it's not focusing really well. But I'm going to keep this in the off state. Go ahead and engage live view. Get the camera cap off. And as you can see, none of these buttons work. Let's go ahead and flip that on. So there, as you can see, the shutter button's working just fine. My hands are absolutely frozen. I could barely feel a thing. Okay, that was the autofocus on button. I'm actually going to glaze over this because <laughs> I am pretty cold. So, next is the um, exposure lock. So, let me try to get it to something where you could actually see the values. So, there. Um, again, I do apologize for the... So, there. Okay, you see the star? That indicates that it's been locked down here, the star. Okay, and you see it's locked at two seconds. And last but not least, we're going to test out the auto focus selector button, which is that one button down there. And as you can see, as well as the command dial, no issues at all. So this is working nicely in the code. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this open and Sorry, my hands are just freezing right now. And then install the um, 6 AA batteries. That's also been sitting out here in the code, so again, just to verify that, uh, that they weren't just bought in from outside. I mean, from inside, actually. Um, it is the same temperature as it is out here, so I'm going to go ahead and get this installed into the camera grip. As you saw, that was a good sign. So that verifies that the batteries are working just fine. So no issues with using this in the code. Here, I'm going to get indoors now before my hand completely freezes up. <laughs> I just came in from outdoors and uh, the batteries have had a chance to warm up, but they are still reasonably cold. As you can see. And one thing I didn't get to chest outside because my hands were literally frozen, I, I really just could not move them, was to see whether or not, you know, this plastic was brittle. Um, sorry, my tripod is still downstairs, so I, I didn't get it. I'm filming this uh, handheld. But I finally did manage to get one of these off and the reason is, again, I wanted to test to see if this plastic would just snap off due to the code, but um, looks like it's held up pretty well, so of course this is not a uh, direct test outside. If my hands were functional, <laughs> I would have done it outside, but again, overall, I gotta say, you know, this is fairly good quality, um, all things considering, especially for the price.